In this presentation, we'll look at an overview of the project system module in SAP. Let's look at what is SAP project system. It is also commonly called as SAP PS module. The abbreviation form is project system is PS. Now it is SAP solution for project and portfolio management. Portfolio management means a group of projects. You are managing a group of projects. It's called a portfolio. So it's part of the PPM module as well. And it's also commonly known as a PS module. Now SAP project system manages the project's entire life cycle. That is from creating the template, creating the project, project planning, budget and release, project implementation and project completion. Now SAP PS module is usually used for large and complex projects. For example, if you are building a large warehouse, a construction of a building or you are doing some other infrastructure related projects, any type of complex projects you usually use the SAP PS module to track the costs. Now let's look at what is project systems relevance to the SAP controlling module. Now you can see a list of cost objects for the SAP CEO module. You are very familiar with cost centers, internal orders, profitability segments, production orders, process orders, product cost collectors, cost object hierarchy, sales orders. Then there is another cost object called WBS or it's commonly known as work breakdown structure. So work breakdown structure is called WBS. Now this cost object component belongs to the project systems module. So that's why it's an important part of the CEO module as well because it's relevant to as a cost object. Now WBS acts like a cost collector similarly to all the other cost objects and in terms of its operational functionality is most similar to the internal order. Now, Commonly the companies they use internal orders for short term projects or short term campaigns and they use WBS for long term projects that is they use the SAP PS module for long term projects. WBS can be used for purchase orders as an account assignment object. It can be directly posted to as a real object. It can also be used in allocations as well. Very similar to what an internal order does. Now why does an SAP finance consultant needs to learn project systems? Well, it is tightly integrated with the SAP FI and CEO modules. As you saw earlier in our presentation slide, that is one of the important cost object in the CEO module. And in terms of financial accounting, usually you do a large project and you put all the cost to your project systems module, that is your WBS and your project. And then you finally settle those into a fixed asset. Because when you construct a building, the building will be an asset under construction phase and finally it has to turn into become a fixed asset. So there is a tight integration to the SAP FI module as well. Now most companies do not implement large and complex construction projects or even any other type of large complex projects. But however they would like to have a tool in SAP to monitor smaller projects and sometimes even some operational costs as well. They would like to have a tool other than the objects we saw earlier, the cost objects we saw earlier. So then SAP project systems comes in handy because you can use WBS as one of those cost collectors. So when companies do not want to have large and complex construction projects, they might not have a dedicated SAP PS consultant on board. They would want the SAP finance consultant to know the basics about project systems so they can do the basic configurations and do the necessary cost allocations within the project systems module. So it becomes very important for the SAP finance consultant to know the basics of project systems at least to the level of configuring and creating the WBS and allocating the costs and capturing them and to analyze the reports as well. Now let's see how the SAP PS module works. I have taken an example of constructing a building. So you know the building, there are many phases throughout the building and one is for example, it's a review and approvals, then you have bids and contracts, grading and building permits, site work, foundation, carpentry, concreting, etc. So many different levels are there. And sometimes in each of these levels, there might be sub-levels also. 
Now this can be implemented in the project systems module.